Currently, there is a style of golf club that's being used in professional golf out on tour that some consider to be borderline cheating, but it's not, it's legal to use. So in today's video, I'm gonna test it and see exactly what I think of this controversial golf club. So this is the golf club in question. Now from there, it looks like a normal putter, but as you start to come out, you see this, it's different. This is an arm lock putter. Now, many brands make this style of putter. This is an even roll, it's an ER2, which is very similar to a putter I've been using in the past, which is why I think this will be a very interesting test. But as you can see, post around about here where the black part of the grip is, everything lower than that just looks like a normal golf club. From up here though, we've got an extended grip and we've got a section that actually sticks out. Now the idea of this is that you can lock it into the side of your forearm, use more of a forward press, and during the putter stroke then, it almost stays more robotic, connected. There's no deviation, there's no wrist use it. I, I can't use my wrist at all. Now, over the last few years, we've seen this become very popular out on tour. Players like Bryson DeChambeau, Matt Kuchar, and even more recently, Xander Shoffley. And obviously, that list of players have had incredible success recently. No exception, Bryson DeChambeau. He's been really using his arm lock to incredible effect. As I mentioned at the start of the video, a lot of people question its legality because back in 2016, anchoring became banned. Now anchoring, you saw it back in the day where you'd have like belly putters or you'd almost have the broom handle putters where you'd stick it into your chest. That was banned because it was deemed to be an advantage. The difference with arm lock is it doesn't pivot around a point and that's the wording that's very crucial. Here, it's just locked into my arm. Nothing is fixed to the butt end of the golf club. So that is not considered to be illegal. Whether that stays the same in the rules of golf, who knows, we'll find out. But right now it's legal. So in this video, I'm gonna test it against a traditional putter, one that I've used in the past on three different tests. Inside 10 foot, long, lengthy putts to see how this arm lock works on there. And then I think we'll finish it with a nine hole putting comp. Standard versus arm lock. Now, because I've not really used an arm lock putter before, and it, I think it's only fair if I spend a little bit of time now to get used to it so that the tests are more valid. Let's give this a go. So I spent some time just trying to get used to the mechanics of using this putter in like an arm lock position. I wasn't particularly looking for results, just wanted to get the findings of what, what worked best for me because for me, it's quite interesting. I normally hold my putter left hand below right. On short putts, I actually claw it as well with my right hand. But with this, what I found, if I go left hand below right, I can't quite get this to fit what feels naturally to me so i'm not the biggest fan of that so what i've actually gone back to is a standard grip which i actually still do really like and then once i've got that standard grip then pushing it up against my forearm keeping it locked in and i, and I quite like that for how solid it feels it feels very robotic it feels like not a lot can go wrong however it's not all great my wrist feels like it's in quite a bit of pain. It's in an awkward position. And I feel like at the moment, I'm really being super conscious about making sure it's, it's there, it's locked in. But the roll was good. It felt good. As I mentioned, it felt very robotic, very repeatable. So now let's start testing. This against the traditional putter. We'll start off on an eight foot putt first. So with my normal putter on a straight putt, it felt good, felt confident over the ball. I gave most of them a chance. And in total, I scored four out of 10, so 40%. So pretty happy with that, what I'd expect.
Okay, so you saw what happened there. Um, that was eight out of 10 with the arm lock. A couple of things I noticed, it felt reliable, felt stable. The two that I missed, one I left just a, a roll short of the hole and the other one lipped out. That was pretty impressive. It, like I say, it's a bit awkward. I'm not quite there with it yet, comfort level wise, but results compared to the traditional, which I've used for so long, I'm used, so used to that putter, this one absolutely smashed it out of the park. But the big test is the long putts. And also, we have a little nine hole putting comp between the two as well. That was pretty good, I was impressed with that. Okay, so I've got 40 odd footer here across the green. I'm gonna go alternate. I've got traditional arm lock, traditional arm lock, and then we'll just see which ones are basically finishing close. I'm also gonna try and work out feel on these as well, because I've not done loads of long putts with the arm lock yet. Start off with mine first. That's pretty perfect. Okay, this one will be a bit more interesting. I, the more I use this, the more I'm probably starting to realize I'm actually quite a flicky putter. I think I use my wrist way too much when I'm putting, which is not a good thing. That leads to inconsistencies. So I wonder with on a long putt like this, arm locking it, whether I can judge the speed. Let's find out. No, oh, a mega roll. Go on. Oh. Yeah, still not bad. Same up. Okay, last one. Oh, that's probably the worst one out of the bunch, but if I'm honest, not much separates them. Probably just a, a lack of experience with this one that stopped that last one getting there, but I take most of them. Most of them are, are gimme putts. So before we get to the ultimate test, I want to give a bit of a summary of the arm lock. I've actually liked using it more than I expected. I think some golfers are gonna absolutely love it. It's gonna give them lots of confidence because it, it kind of gets you into much more of a robotic, consistent move, which I quite like. However, I do think there'll be lots of golfers, certainly you guys watching as well, that won't like it because it just feels awkward. It's different and change is also quite hard to kind of adapt to. I think my advice to anyone is give it a try. If you're struggling with your putting, it's worth giving it a go. For me, this next challenge is going to be crucial. Nine holes, I'm going to take my traditional putter that I've loved for so long against the arm lock putter in a nine hole match. If the arm lock wins convincingly, it could well get in the bag. Let's find out. Nine holes, let's go. I'll go traditional putter first. So nine hole score with my putter was 18. One three putt, one one putt. Can this beat it? Let's find out. So after eight holes played, the score is level. One hole out, one three putt, you just saw there on the last, that was annoying. So basically this putt to win. If this goes in, the arm lock takes it. Whether I put it in the bag, I'm not entirely sure. It does give me confidence, I must admit. I might try it, who knows. Does this take it? Last hole, it comes down to this. Still gonna get two putts to half. Got this to half. 
it's hard. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below. We'll see you next time.